Moving to a new city and a new country is very exciting and can also be confusing and exhausting. In the first few weeks, there are many new things to learn about and a lot to do. This information should help you as you settle in. Mostly everything covered in this video lives on our Entering the U.S. and Resources for Students web pages. For this reason, we'll guide you through various topics by using this page. In this short video, we'll cover basic necessities, arrival, housing, banks, phones, safety, taxes, orientation, and community and events. Let's begin! First off, don't leave home without your basic necessities. Here are some things you should pack in your carry-on. Immigration-related documents. Have these accessible at the port of entry. U.S. currency and credit card from home, if necessary. Some cash is recommended to start out with. A change of clothing and toiletries in case of delays or lost baggage. Medication as needed. Eyeglasses and contact lenses as needed. The most important things are your documents and money. Everything else you can buy. Also, if you ever plan to rent a car here, it is helpful to bring an international driver's permit with your home country's driver's license. Once you've landed, we want to make sure you get from the airport to your destination in the New York City area. Here are some transportation tips if you choose to go by car and not public transportation. If you decide to use services such as Uber, Lyft, Via, etc., the price may be lower than a regular taxi, but the wait is usually as long. Expect at least 30 minutes to secure the ride, depending on time of arrival. There are special areas designated for ride services and taxis, so be sure to go outside and wait by the designated curbside area. If you want to use a taxi, use only an official yellow or green cab from the taxi line with the dispatcher outside arrivals. For your ride, you can pay with credit card or cash. It is customary to tip 10 to 20% on top of the fare. In addition, you will be charged for the toll of the bridge or tunnel used to enter Manhattan. Do not accept offers of rides from anyone else. They are unregulated and have been known to overcharge new arrivals. The dispatcher will give you a paper that identifies the taxi you're riding in and the rates. At the bottom of this section, we link to each of the three airports that serve the metropolitan area, which have travel options from the airport and other useful information. Housing is a big topic and obviously you will recommend that you investigate before coming to New York. Housing resources for Morningside and CUIMC are different, so we are not able to generalize. However, you can review this section for all housing links for both campuses. This includes information about on-campus housing. Finding off-campus housing is a challenge due to things such as not having a credit history in the U.S., need for guarantors or co-signers, and that's people who have U.S. credit and can document their financial status for you, and for those with children and family. Refer to Columbia's Off-Campus Housing Assistance Office and online marketplace for housing. If you venture off campus, the Office for Work and Life provides a useful rental guide. Opening a bank account is possible within the US. Here, we give you all the documents you will need as well as some location within the Columbia neighborhood. You do not need a social security number to open a bank account. Once in NYC, you will also be able to buy a phone and review phone plans. Some carriers may offer student discounts, but it is best to check with the stores owned by mobile provider directly, rather than authorized dealers. Often students bring an unlocked phone from home and buy a US SIM card from a mobile provider. Also, it's very important to become familiar with Columbia Public Safety Services and always be alert. New York presents the same security concerns as any other large city worldwide. Columbia Public Safety offers walking escort service, shuttle bus service, presentations, workshops, and tips on their website. Review their website for the most up-to-date information. Fraudulent phishing emails and imposter phone calls are a big problem. When in the U.S., be aware that government agencies will not use email or phone calls to contact you. Please refer to our ISSO webpage to help identify scams and phishing and how to report them to the proper authorities. International students have one tax form they must submit if they have no U.S. income. 
RS form AA43. Don't worry, the SSO provides access to user-friendly Spring Tax tax software for you to use at no cost for Form AA43 or a federal tax return if you have income, so you don't have to figure out the form you need and how to fill them in. The tax filling deadline is normally April 15 every spring for the previous tax year. We will send you more updates and information beginning in January in the events of April deadline. Don't forget to attend your school's orientation. You should receive a communication directly from them and ISSO will be included in their program. Last and not the least, we know many of you are eager to meet and connect with other students. In our Getting Connected section, find various ways in which you can get involved and meet new friends. We are sure you'll hear of other student groups and platforms with ways to connect. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. We feature students and events there. We hope you use this information as you prepare to arrive and settle in at Columbia. Don't forget that everything you need is on our Resources for Students webpage. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video series. Watch the other videos if you haven't yet. Mm -hmm.